to the sports pod. On this pod talk, we're going to be talking about trigger points and kind of what they are. Okay? Uh, trigger points are something you hear a lot about, especially with like foam rolling, other soft tissue uh, courses. They kind of like, if you dig into your muscle and you find some of those knotty spots that like really hurt when you apply pressure, uh, that's a trigger point. It's something a lot of people have heard of, uh, but not a lot of people have a really good understanding of what it is. So first we're going to talk about what it is. It's not a muscle spasm. Okay, so this is our muscle here. We got the two attachments, and this muscle spasm is the entire muscle contracts up really tight. Um, not a trigger point. Okay. We come over this way. Now we're going to talk about what a trigger point is. So if we look at our muscle here, it's made up of a bunch of individual muscle fibers. You can see these lines right here. And a trigger point would be like a nice little knot nodule bump inside the muscle in one muscle fiber. Okay, so it's just one muscle fiber. And so if you look at, so let's say we dissected that out, we have our one muscle fiber here. It's made of a bunch of different segments. These are called sarcomeres. And when you look at an individual sarcomere, these things usually kind of contract and relax. Okay, a muscle isn't static, it actually pumps and moves. And that pumping motion here is what gets nutrients in and flushes of metabolic waste products out. So when you have a trigger point, say you have this uh, sarcomere here, you get an unusually contracted sarcomere. So this thing is super contracted, so it gets really hard, and that metabolic waste just builds and builds and builds. It doesn't have that pumping motion, and so all that crap just kind of sits in there, and it pulls on that full, mu that entire muscle fiber, um, and so the combination of that tightness and that pulling, along with that buildup of metabolic waste, is what creates pain that can be typically associated with trigger points. Um, you can't have an active versus a passive trigger point. A passive trigger point is one that's contracted and it's got all this crap in here, but it isn't actively causing you pain. Um, we can usually find those through palpation. We go in there and feel the muscle, we push, push into it, how that hurts, or we can feel it along that muscle fiber. Then you have an active trigger point, and that's one that is actively causing you pain. So you can have a passive trigger point for an extremely long time, and it doesn't actually hurt, but what happens is this tight muscle fiber here basically stiffens this muscle up and causes tightness through this entire muscle itself. Not on the level of a spasm necessarily, which is an active muscle Traction, but we just lose some of that elasticity in the muscle. Okay. So, in summation, a trigger point is a long, tight, bound up sarcomere within one muscle fiber that has a lot of nasty stuff built up in it, which can cause issues, it can cause pain, it can cause stiffness in the muscle, and it can just cause a lack of the ability for this muscle to move well. So, it can inhibit your mobility and flexibility gains, even if it isn't causing it. So that's what a trigger point is. Hopefully you have a little bit better understanding. Hope you enjoyed this pod talk. Move free humans.